Uh, maybe Lamborghini Urus, maybe Bentley Fantega. Oh, definitely a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Yeah, in a grey colour with orange interior. That's what you need to order me. What, we've got one here now, just turned up. Guys, we've just got the most luxurious SUV turned up here at Encamp HQ. It's a Rolls Royce Cullinan, grey in colour with orange interior. And like I just told my colleague, that's one of my dream cars. And he said he's gonna order me one. Well, fingers crossed. I don't think I'll ever get it, but who knows. But anyway, my friend Naheem, I just purchased a brand new Rolls Royce 2023 player, and he's picked it up from Rolls Royce dealership. And he just bought it directly here at Encarn's HQ. Do they want it customizing? Do they want a new set of wheels? Well, anyway, let's go find out and also congratulate him on his new car. Naheem, how's it going, my brother? Congratulations on the beautiful Rolls Royce. Thanks man, you like it? Do I like it? Are you dressed in grey for a reason? You know what, this wasn't planned, this just happened. Are you Good. sure? Yeah. Because grey is my favourite colour. I know I'm yeah. full of black. Black is so, also my favourite colour. You're going to love working with this car then, obviously. It's your I can't colour. wait, honestly. Anyway, you probably are. I didn't need no introduction at all. This is my friend Naheem, and you can follow him on Instagram. Very popular on Instagram as well, Bentega NA, is that right? His That's link's it. down below. Make sure you follow him with all the best supercars in Bradford. Like Jeremy Clarkson said, and every time he said that, yeah. or when I hear that, he says that if you want to see the world's best cars, come to Bradford. And this is the man that's responsible for that quote, by no, the way. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> Oasis limousines in Bradford, the best majority of supercar collection for rental. And honestly, check them guys out, brilliant. But anyway, let's talk about his Rolls Royce. It's my dream car, and you bought it before me. Well, they only got released yesterday. We, to be in fairness, it should have been here towards the end of the month, but. Rolls Royce was surprised as they, they got a call last week saying the car's here. You can collect it on the first. We thought, fine, that would be nice. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Get to the 20th yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We were going to pick it at the end of the month, but we thought it was the first of the month. Might as well collect it on the day of the release. So, makes but sense. it's nice though. With this particular one, we've got we've got five Cullinans previous, but they they all like. We've only got five Cullinans, they, right? They, okay. They're black badge and they all come with a certain standard factory fitted kit and the wheels and everything, which is quite nice to like them. So these particular cars. You don't really want to modify them, you want to leave them because Rolls Royce is a signature state. Of course. And you don't want to kind of go crazy with it. On this particular one, when we ordered it, I remember speaking to you and I said, look, how should we order it? And you said, keep it as simple as possible because we're going to do what we do best and uh, definitely. Transform it. Yeah, well, hopefully, let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to this because this is not a standard, straightforward car to work with, as I'm sure you're aware. And uh, it's a big if, it, challenge. if it's done right, it's going to look amazing. Or it can be done wrong as well, so we've got to yeah. get it right first time. I said I want to order a new Rolls Royce. I thought I'd treat myself. Why not? I worked really hard. And uh, so anyway, I rang them. Yeah. I rang the Leeds Rolls Royce. And uh, and you know what spec it was? Go on. Exact same, same colour with orange interior. Honestly, I'm not lying to you. Fine, everything was fine, went well, but there was a little clause. They said, we'll order you the car, but we've got to keep the long box for a year. I yeah, thought, because, what? Uh, they have to be careful. A lot of people are buying cars and exporting them. And, uh, but that's not fair and genuine people that do want to buy them and keep them. But this is the thing, isn't it? They have to be cautious. So if you're a genuine buyer, they think, well, you, sh you shouldn't really have a problem with us holding the logbook for a year. But for someone like yourself, who's not going to export it, wants to keep it here, it can become difficult. I can understand that as well. So but for that it's reason... A, it's a catch-22 situation. You it know, is. So, uh, well, Rolls Royce... This might be the car that you ordered then, because I think it's a spec is very similar to what you were going to go for. But, you know what? I'm going to check it out in a minute, but Rolls Royce, you lost out. So I went to Lamborghini okay. and ordered a brand new Urus. Did you? So well, exactly the same colour with yeah. the interior as well. I, I think that will suit you better. For what you Hopefully, let's see. If not, then I'll have to just come apart extra Urus for you. <laughs> anyway, we can swap cars, can't we name? Why not? Anyway, let's go check out the brand new Rolls Royce. Anyway, big massive congratulations on the fifth, or is it sixth, or is it seventh Rolls Royce calling on the fleet. <laughs> probably the biggest fleet of Rolls Royce Cullinans in the UK. Or probably the biggest Rolls Royce fleet in the UK. I think we've got, if you take everything into account, the Phantoms, the Ghosts and everything, we've probably got the largest fleet of rollers. Alhamdulillah. Kings of the North. Wow, mashallah. Look at that. A lot of people uh, refer to it as the Nardo Grey. Nardo Grey. I've always said Nardo Grey, but this yeah. is called Tempest Grey, by the way. So if you do want to order a Rolls Royce, 
in this specific colour, you can either say same colour as Naheem's car or <laughs> Tempest Grey. Right, don't and, say uh, Nardo Grey. <laughs> yeah, don't say Nardo Grey because uh, yeah, it will be a different shade. So we've wow. left the wheels, you can see, are pretty much standard at the moment. Yeah, we said that when we ordered the car, leave them standard because we're going to put some Baragzite alloy wheels on them. We'll go inside and choose which ones we're going to be putting on. Right, okay, so the so standard 20 inch. Yeah. Standard 21 inch. So it's it's in chrome at the moment, so we're going to get it de -chromed. Okay, all blacked all, out. All blacked out. Flying Lady is going to get blacked out as well. Okay, cool. All the chrome trims all on the, the bumper. All the chrome trims, everything else is going to get blacked out. Um, the chrome trims on the door are going to get all blacked out. All the surrounds around the door as well. The door handles, etc. But you know what, guys? <sighs> Voila! Oh my God! beg people to do orange interior yeah. and you know what people in the UK they're not that daring honestly it's one of my favorite colors it's that like Hermes orange isn't it see we o we ordered the uh, the orange it's the mandarin orange is what they call it but it's, yeah, it's very similar to the Hermes orange but this particular car they haven't done one in a mandarin orange no one's brave enough to kind of go for this color this so is think, the color so Sa Salo when we ordered one about four years ago Sal said let's go for the mandarin orange so we ordered it in the mandarin good choice Sal and, and, af and after that it's just been Rolls Royce said they've had so many orders in orange people have gone for this well color. that's what I rang them for as well yeah. Tempest Grey with orange interior it's a, it's a big risk to take on a car it's like a this. massive risk because, because you, you're going for like pretty much like you're close to half a million pound aren't you yeah and then when you're putting orange in it's oh, uh, we'll come to the cost in a little in a, in a while don't worry but when it comes to orange interior they're very very popular yeah. in Dubai right we just come back from Dubai and LA, Los Angeles, Miami, hot countries, the orange interior is massive. Nice. But you know what? Now, Brett, now Bradford had set the benchmark with orange interior. Let me sit inside. God, this is beautiful. The comfort. Now, this is better than first class, isn't it? This so, you are uh, a first class traveler. No, no, no. As people you that follow him on Instagram <laughs> will know. Okay. Oh my God. I mean, you'd fall asleep driving this car. Smell that fresh leather. I can get high on it. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Honestly, it's got every optional extra on this car. There's nothing you need to do to, to the interior. I know there's some car stylists and companies out there that rip out of the interior and do it again, but I'd hate to touch the interior yeah, with Rolls Royce. Yeah. I mean, come on. No, I agree with stunning you. Stunning leather, high quality, beautiful. If I just press this button. Part of the luxury, isn't it? That's why it's a Rolls Royce, and that's why Naeem's driving it. Oh, and that one, the front one. There you go, automatic doors opening and closing. Right, so okay, what, so, what so what have you got in mind now? What are we doing? Right, what I've got in mind is, uh, do you fancy part exit with the uh, battered side Defender? Anyway, what do you think of the Defender? I love the Defender, to be honest. Uh, I've got my heart set on the, on the short wheel base, and uh, hopefully, you next, did actually. Ne next couple of months, I'll, get, I'll give you the short wheel. We need to get a Defender kind of on the Oasis fleet, I'm sure. But you know what? I have to say, when I first launched the Defender body kit, Naheem was one of the first to call me and congratulate me and said that it's probably one of the nicest Defenders he's seen out there. And seriously, mate, I appreciate it is, that. It is, it is um, uh, words like that from a man like you, seriously, it means a lot. So, the yes, is, Defender. You put a lot of hard work and graft into this, and a lot of people don't appreciate it. They just see the finished product. But what goes into it, in the making of it, in the detail, it's uh, it's commendable when you see someone put it together. Yeah. But that's what we talked about a couple of days ago, didn't we? Yeah. We said, obviously, you know, uh, everyone sees the nice cars and all the designer gear, traveling, etc. But you know, all the hard work that goes behind it to live that kind of life is extremely hard, extremely stressful, stressful as well. Yeah. But you know, what? obviously, you got to pay a price and time for that as well. But it's worth it at the end. So if you do want to live that kind of life, work hard, guys, and anything's possible. Yeah. So what we're doing with this is, so for now, because the kit you're saying is going to take at least a couple of months to kind of design and yeah, so get we're going to design a unique kit for you. Yeah, right. Which we're so, working on the design process together, but you've got to be very careful in terms of with the Rolls Royce. It's quite a box square sort of shape. You can't really make put, it like a supercar, can't yeah, we? Yeah. So it's got to keep that elegance. It's got to keep that prestige, and it's got to look not too, with the not, not too far from what it actually is. So we're going to call this the, hopefully when I design a body kit for this, we're going to call it the Baragzai Oasis Edition. 
Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. That you like that, right? Good to so me. what I'm going to do first of all, we're going to put some alloy wheels on it. We're going to put some Baragzite alloy wheels. We've got a big collection of Baragzite alloy wheels. I don't know. We've got the 24 inch options. We've got the 23 options, or we've got the 22 inch options well, as well. You've got the 23 in stock now, right? Yeah. So let's go with the 23 for now. Why don't we try some wheels? Okay. So we've got the Baragzite collection. We've got the 24 inch. Okay. The 23 inch yeah. and the 22 inch. So we can put the wheels next to the car and you can decide which okay. ones you like and we'll also let the viewers choose as well why don't, we, like. why, why don't we design a wheel for for the culinary have you the, got a checkbook in there push, push the ball out have you got a blank here? check in there can you that, that lv I, bag i, I open wish it up. i wish i'm just gonna write me a check out and trust here. me i'll design anything you want but actually we can make one-off wheels in forged aluminium we yeah. can do that as well ideally that's what i wanted because this is quite a heavy car it has to be forged because it's going to be our no, wheels are built, built. Bradford's got some nice cars, but it's got a lot of potholes. No, I've never bought it. We need to complain to the council, don't we? But the wheels are high quality. All our wheels are designed to fit SUVs and 4x4s. Obviously, they're built so they can take the weight of the car as well. So we're going to bring some wheels out and put them against the car and you can yeah. decide which ones you like. I'm going to. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like, okay, I need to lift some wheel because uh, me and him, we're, you know, we're getting a bit old now. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so let's start off with the alloy wheels. We've got the 22 inch Sabre, which I don't think are going to suit the Rolls Royce. They're more for like Defenders and Range Rovers and Audis. We've got the Dawn, the classic Barrens Eye wheel, which looks nice, multi spoked as well. See, the current wheel is what? That's a 21 inch, right? 21. And so let's go more 23, 24 then. Should we move away from the 22s? 24 sounds good. It looks amazing, but the only thing is, is it practical in terms of driving wise? Driving I mean, I'm not everyone day. does ask me that question. They do look good. I mean, it is practical because we do sell a lot of them. But when it says you might lose that little bit of comfort, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you that little bit. But obviously, you got to kind of compromise from the looks to yeah. the comfort. I think in, in that case, let's kind of go mid range. That's a 20, 21. You're saying 24 is the ideal, ideally, where we want to be. So let's go mid range 23. 23? Yeah, 23 sounds good. So 23 range, we've got the We've got the Casanova in okay. polished face. We've got them in chrome, gold, black. Black is the ideal color I'm going for. But I do like multi spoke, to be honest. I mean, I do like that, but I'm not too sure how that's going to. That's a nice wheel. Yeah, that has to be a 24, though. You can't go 23 on that. Let's have this as option one. So, is, is that a forged wheel? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got the 23 inch Casanovas in gloss black. Here we go. And it's got the Rolls-Royce centre cap as well, floating cap. We can change that, you okay. can keep the Baron's Eye one on, or we can actually put the genuine Rolls-Royce floating centre cap on there. Yeah. And uh, I think this is a yeah. good choice, actually. Yeah. So what we're going to do, let's try this on the Majestics. So now, Aslan, the bodybuilder, I'll, I'll carry the heavier, <laughs> the heavier part, yeah. You, let's pick the Majestics up first. Actually, like genuine, like they do look nice. They look stunning. You know, in, if actually if we had the Rolls Royce floating centre cap in there, then it'd be yeah. then wheels. Yeah. Hey, right? I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, when see, you're driving see, a Rolls Royce, you need that centre cap in there. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to. You've got to have that. It's got that, that multi sport kind of there. finish that you like as well. You know, the design. Right. Okay. Now the 23 inch Casanova. I think this is probably more. It's got the luxury feel to it, luxurious feel multi-spoke like you like as well we are going to be designing an exclusive wheel a 24 inch multi-spoke alloy wheel very similar to the Casanova probably call it the Oasis edition again so uh, <laughs> probably a little bit more concave you the signs very Oasis, very yeah, might as well but actually stay tuned on future vlogs guys because we are going to be visiting Oasis uh, car rental in Bradford and you can check out all the exclusive cars honestly out of this world and we're going to get uh, Naheem more involved in the vlog so stay tuned watch out for him Make sure you subscribe guys, I'm telling you, some great content coming. So what are you saying? Which ones? Uh, personally I like these, to be honest. I think if this was a 24. Yeah, I think that's nice as well. It looked nice, but I, I think in the 23, once the tyres on it, once on the car, and once all the chrome's been... Uh, all de-chromed everything. Yeah, it's going to look nice. Right, so, what do you guys think? The 24-inch Majestic or the 23-inch Casanova? World 
world famous Oasis limousines in Bradford. Now this is why Bradford is known for the best cars in the world. As you can see here, we've got Bugattis, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, the best cars in the world you can think of, they're here in Bradford. And also thanks to Oasis, they've got the best car rental fleet probably in the world. We can go down and show you. The Rolls-Royce Cullinan has been PPF and all d chrome and it's had the 23 inch Casanova alloy wheels fitted on it. They look phenomenal. Well wait, just be patient and we'll show you the Rolls-Royce all completed. But for now, let's go speak to the main man Naheem and let's get insight of all these beautiful cars and his story, his journey. And we can talk about this beautiful Bugatti right behind me. My brother, you're good, yeah. Where have you just landed from Maldives, Dubai, no <laughs> Lake District? I'm just come from home at the late night, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm brilliant, mate. Thank you very much for asking. Of course, I've got the world's best supercars around me. This is why Jeremy Clarkson said if you're gonna go see the world's best supercars, just come to Oasis Limousines, forget <laughs> Bradford. <laughs> the, let's talk about this famous Bugatti, the Veyron, eh? The Veyron, I mean, yeah. this is I remember you guys bought this many years ago. We've, we've had this for I think was it 2017, or something? yeah. Like that. And at that point, there was no, there was nobody else with the Bugatti, you know, especially in the hiring industry. Well, no I'm sure it's been a so brilliant be, investment. Yeah, yeah, I'm the guy. It's, uh, it's obviously it's a lot of money as well, so it's uh, kind of go either way, can't it? The you set the benchmark in Bradford. You guys know that, right? Right. Well, Brad, Bradford set the benchmark for the rest for the rest of England. Okay. The question is, yeah, what does it cost to hire this car, and can you self-drive it? No, not self-drive. Self-drive only chauffeur. Um, chauffeured by yourself. Either Sal or myself, or one of us that drives it, and um, it can vary depending on the job. I mean, it's it's affordable. A lot of people would think that uh, Bugatti is not affordable. It is. I mean, now we're at a stage where people want to do something different every time. If you've had three, four weddings in a family, yeah, they want to kind of the benchmark gets moved every time, isn't it? So I mean, anything between for a small one way could be a few grand. To ten thousand could be twenty thousand, but it depends on each individual job. But we can tailor it to suit your needs as well, of course. Well, that's nice to know that you can get a Bugatti on your special wedding day proms or etc. But just to let you guys know, this, uh, we had a little break on the vlog when the Cullinan came in. Uh, we had a little break. Unfortunately, um, someone very close to Naheem passed away, so we had to we had a little break, and uh, hopefully everything's uh, sorted. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's just one of those things because we was we came to see you. I think pretty much the next day we picked the car up, right? Yeah. And we were going to do something pretty much straight away. Yeah. But then there was a delay of a month or so. Plus, me and Sal flew out to Pakistan. There was about yeah. 15, 20 was that flew out, and then all of the whole process. By the time you get back, get your feet back into the business, it takes a bit of time. Yeah. So we're here now. So let's try. And finish well, it off. yeah. So that's why we had a little bit of a delay. But uh, we're back and it's uh, summertime as well and it's school holidays guys so uh, if there's any kids out there that want to come and have a look at some of these cars from outside of course can't come and touch the cars maybe you can drive past you're welcome anytime away to the limousines in Bradford come check them out and uh, but anyway what's your favourite car? I there's think so many uh, cars and you mean the thing is it's impossible to have a single favourite I mean Cullinan used to be my favourite look at all these but Cullinans then, but then here obviously the Bugatti came and the Bugatti is it's a different it's like you've got to take a lot of things into consideration everyday car are you looking at a car just for a Sunday drive? Are you looking for... But right now, in terms of supercars, my favourite's got to be the STO. Right. STO. Come check it out, guys. Come on. Beautiful. Look at all this carbon fibre. Beautiful colour contrast as well. When did you get this one? Um, a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. I mean, with this car, the beauty about it is everything, this whole front end, is one piece so the bonnet wings bumper it's all one piece wow so we, when you open it you can hatch it from the sides lift it up so the half of the car will just open up so what's the value of this car then what's one of these cars worth about 450 grand wow 450 grand for one of these yeah. right now this is the ultimate head turner exactly. we had this car in london last weekend Everybody, yeah. and everywhere it went everyone was just following it we had all the cameras were on this car and there were pretty much about 10 supercars and everyone was focusing on this. I mean, rightly so, I mean, come on, this car just deserves its own credit. You got the Bugatti, but this is something else as well. That's beautiful, is that car? 
Well, what does it cost to rent one of these out then? It varies, it varies. Would it you even depends. give this car out on rent? I mean, how be, could you give be, a car? To be honest with yourself, with this particular car, we're very selective. We don't really want to give it on a hire because it's that powerful. And the weight of it is such. A lot of people tend to get into a supercar and everyone thinks that they're drivers. It's not just about putting your foot down in a supercar because the handling differs and it varies between the conditions of the road, if it's raining, if it's dry, if it's yeah. cold, if the surface, if the tyres are not warmed up, you could lose control of the car very quick. Every, every car in here. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with yourself, first of all, if you're renting a car, you should not be putting your foot down and checking the performance of it because it is what it is. If it's not 16.2.5, it is. You're not Jeremy Clarkson, you're not going to confirm it. And you should, you should be trying to do it anyway. Oasis Limousines has the biggest fleet of Rolls Royce, Cullinans or Rolls Royce in general in the whole of UK. In general, I mean we have pretty much with Rolls Royce we've got a really good relationship. We've been buying from them for a number of years. Um, have a, have you've seen the, the champagne for the Rolls Royce fan yeah. right? That car's got a story of its own. It was actually built by one of the princes from the Middle East, which I can't say who it is and it was commissioned for the royal family and they only do that specific colour for the royal family. A certain period, something happened, they were going to come here to work and uh, on a project, on a development and they just said to Rolls Royce, the project's been cancelled, we're not coming, keep the car. Yeah. So Rolls Royce ended up with the car that's been paid for. Wow. So we just happened to order a brand new Phantom at that time and they offered us that particular car, they said look if you want, we know you ordered one for 380,000 mm -hmm. but can be interested in one which is 490,000. Wow. We're like, it's 110,000 pounds more than what we initially yeah. paying for, what we're paying for. We invited us to the factory, went down, checked it out, and when we saw the car, we thought, you know what, yeah, we have to have it. And this particular Phantom is, has, was voted one of the best Phantoms in the whole of Europe. And that's with us as well. We've kept that for a while now. That's wow. with the Lord number plate. Well, that's a fact, guys biggest Rolls Royce fleet in the UK. So if you don't want to have the biggest Rolls Royce fleet on a wedding, just call Nahima Oasis Limousines. But anyway, you know what? These are one of my favorite four by fours. I do like the Eurises as well. Obviously different kind of fish, more sports, Jeez. more aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. The drive on this is, is amazing. It, from a supercar to this, yeah. it's a totally different feel. But ultimate luxury. Cool in, in, in fact. The that is luxury. Comfort, yeah. You want the Maybach anyway, we've got See, one just the, the Maybach, I was That bounces, doesn't it, the suspension? Yeah, it does. I was after the Maybach for a long time. Why do you get the keys for that car? For the Maybach. Let's just uh, let's just bounce around in it. Let me just check this out. I mean this is this car should be only available in America because it's like the low rider where they just bounce the suspension around. I don't know the purpose of that, but uh, it looks quite cool, doesn't it? It's very unique and different. But anyway. Let's get to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Let's do the reveal and show you the 22-inch Casanova fitted on the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Let's go. So here we have it guys, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan with the 23-inch gloss black Casanova alloy wheels. Name, what do you think? I think they're really nice. They actually um, they they kind of the car? blend in with the car. Just blend in with the black bits on the car. We went for the 23 inch Casanovas and uh, the drive is absolutely brilliant as well. There's no difference from the drive. The Rolls Royce obviously is all about the drive, of course, the smooth drive. And uh, there you have it guys, the car's all been PPF'd as well. And it's all been blacked out, all de -chromed. So now it looks uh, more aggressive. Uh, the front headlights have been smoked out as well. And the orange interior, I mean, that just pops, right? What a contrast. <laughs> It is one of my dream cars and hopefully one day if I work hard enough, you know, maybe I can buy a Cullinan. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you I can. can't, right honestly. Now you can. <laughs> I can only come and I only like to come here and look at these beautiful supercars, but who knows? But anyway, if you work hard, I'm sure anyone can buy a Rolls Royce Cullinan. And on that note, name, Absolutely. tell us that give us a little motivation for the young kids that are on holiday at the moment, probably bored the at home. Is, the thing is Motivate a of, them. A lot of kids at home don't get into this. A lot of people wanna rush into it and you know take certain steps which may be the wrong steps to get a lot of money and start a business get rich it quick i know that's a that's a it doesn't work scheme at the moment work. everyone's just whoever's, get rich quick whoever's tried to do that 
they've the quicker they've gone up the quicker they've fallen Failed. down you have to do it grow organically yeah, absolutely absolutely and we've started we started with one limo in 2000 you remember, remember that yes yes yeah and from one it went to two five twenty we've got to 30 limos at one point and then we went into the self-drive chauffeur drive phantoms and so forth so i mean if you're persistent and you want to do something you've got the passion for it it's anything's achievable but you've just got to stay consistent and do what you enjoy and if you enjoy it you work hard and you do well at it of course well there you go guys a little bit of motivation for you guys while you're at home on your school holidays and uh, spend a bit of time maybe studying as well maybe i don't know do a little bit of Absolutely. work experience Absolutely. and uh, you know motivate yourself because like i said the world is your oyster and you can own one of these cars if you work hard there's nothing wrong with owning a nice car living a good life if you work hard of course so what's the marks out of 10 with these wheels man come on um, if I'm honest with you, I like them. They're, they're up there. They're up there. Um, between eight and ten. That's good. Which is a which is a good mark for a Rolls Royce standard. It's very very good, I think. It looks nice. It looks, it looks brilliant. Perfect. It, it absolutely looks, looks like brilliant. A factory car. It doesn't look like someone's tampered with the wheels. They're not too loud. They're not too aggressive. Not too in your face. They blend with the car. It's definitely do. They belong with this Rolls Royce. So if you do have a Rolls Royce Cullinan or a Range Rover or any other car that you want these wheels do fit that but they are specifically designed for the Rolls-Royce Cullinan with the floating center cap and you can also put the Rolls-Royce center cap in there as well and soon we will be designing a body kit this is exclusive on here on this vlog and uh, I'm working alongside Naheem because he is a bit of a car designer or well, he's a designer if you do follow him on Instagram you'll know how much of a designer he is and you can follow him this is his Instagram make sure you follow him guys and uh, I am designing a kit alongside Naheem a very subtle kit nothing too loud uh, but stay tuned for that it's gonna take a few months because we have got our Range Rover kits so the Range Rover and the Range Rover Sport launching hopefully very very soon so stay tuned for that one for this also, one as well as the kit we're designing a new set of wheels as well which is Shh, you're giving too much away now you why do you reveal something to, on here something, something, to, something exclusive that's that's what that's my that's my input <laughs> wheels it's gonna be a 24 inch alloy wheel and in forged as well just before we go I mean recently there's been uh, some uh, silly accidents with supercars and uh, young people renting them out and uh, there's one that's going viral at the moment as well and uh, hopefully everybody's all right in that incident but it's a blue Lamborghini here and many other ones as well but what's your take on stuff like that see the thing is um, what a lot of people are tending to do is they'll hire a car and for them it's just a normal thing they'll hire a car and they'll happily give the keys to somebody else First of all, that person that they're giving the keys to is not insured because the rental agreement is between the person that's taking the car yeah. and, and ourselves. If anybody else drives it, they're not insured. Secondly, even if the person who's hired it, if they have a moment of madness and they want to show off and they want to do something, you know, try to overtake a fleet of cars or go into the other side of the road, they show off basically. You're, you're effectively putting yourself at risk. Yeah. And you're putting yourself at risk with not only your life, but you're putting yourself at risk with something that's potentially a quarter of a million, half a million pound worth of asset that you're going to damage. Now, if you're on, a, like I've said earlier, if, if you're at a wedding and you've had an accident, well, you've ruined the day for the bride and groom. Definitely so what's the purpose of you hiring a car to show your love and affection to the family and say that we're part of the family and we've hired a car, if you're going to create a scene and ruin the day for everyone? Yeah. So just be sensible. You know, you don't need to get in there and prove to everyone that you're Nigel Manson, because you're not. Ultimately, these cars are not to be driven fast. Everyone knows what to do. And it's just a case of, you know, look after something that you're going to hire. If I'm renting something, I would treat it, I would treat it better than my own item. Yeah, yeah of course you. And that's the sort of mentality that I've always had. Yeah. And I'm a firm believer that if you respect other people's things, Allah will bless you with something even better than True. that. And if you can't respect other people's items, then you know what? I don't see them people going far in life. So that's something to Stay kind of focus on. Yeah. yeah. That's some great advice from Naheem and uh, on that note guys we will end the vlog and uh, like I said the key message is drive responsibly. It doesn't matter if it's a higher car or your own car. Be safe, be thoughtful towards other drivers as well and uh, obviously other people on the road. And uh, well here we go guys, the Rolls Royce Cullen fitted with the 23 inch Casanova alloy wheels, all PPF, d chrome looking nice and uh, like I said to you, stay tuned we will be bringing some more vlogs with Naheem and Oasis Limousines with their beautiful cars. But anyway guys, enjoy your holiday. Stay tuned because we've got some great vlogs this holidays. And uh, like I said, stay blessed and we'll see you on the next vlog.